Well, good morning. Welcome to another video. Today it's cold, and I've got the garage open anyway because I'm going to take Blue for a drive. Um, cold here in Virginia is anything under 40 degrees for me, and what we're going to do today is show you what a cold start on a uh, mostly original old engine like this is like. Um, I'm actually going to do some myth busting today. One of the things that I've seen people talking about on Facebook and YouTube and things like that is old cars are hard to start in the cold. Um, old engines, old carburetors. There's my twin H power. Uh, believe it or not, I've seen people in the Hudson Club say, I love my twin H, but I hate using it and driving it because it's hard to start in anything but temperate weather. And I'm going to show you today that that's not the case. Uh, so if you come around here. So this side of the block, you can see I've got right around 40 degrees coolant temperature on the side of the block there, on the head. Um, it's about 33 degrees out right now here. Last night it got to mid-20s. That's pretty cold for us here in southeastern Virginia. So this is about as cold a start as I could show you. Uh, as you can see, I still got fuel in my fuel filter. Uh, it didn't vapor lock when I parked it last week or anything like that, so it's not like I have to prime it or anything, but I'm going to go ahead and just get in the car. I'm going to do this all in one shot, so you're not going to see any cuts. It's going to be a little sloppy. But I'm going to go ahead and get in and show you a cold start procedure. And you'll see just how easy it is to get in this car and drive uh, with two big twin carbs, even in the middle of winter. So I'll put my key in. Put it in neutral, right? Hydromatic. I give it two pumps. Um, the first one is really just to set my choke, right? You've got an automatic choke on these. Uh, hopefully your choke is set up and working right. That's one thing you can do to make sure it starts right in the cold. Uh, and then I give it another pump just to tickle the carbs and give it a little bit of gas. Make sure I'm in neutral again. Go ahead and turn the key. And she's running. That's about it. Uh, I usually let her warm up for just two minutes, uh, and then I'll go ahead and pull her out of the garage. Um, usually just when the idle starts to smooth out, but I think right now I can actually start driving her. You can hear it breaking up just a little bit, but it's not a problem. Um, it's really, really easy to start these cars and drive these cars when they're properly adjusted. So make sure your carbs are tuned up, make sure your chokes are set right, all of that's in the manual, and then just enjoy driving your car in the winter. Alrighty, and we're back after just a few minutes of warming up here. Let me take a look at my temp gauge here. We're still pretty gosh darn ice cold, uh, but the needle's just barely starting to move. Uh, at this point, I would just go ahead and kill my high idle. There you go. And now we're down in idling. I'll go ahead and show you I can start driving away. I'm not going to stall out or anything like that. This car drives just fine when it's chilly. Give it a little gas, and away we go. We're driving our 70 plus year old Hudson Hornet with a flathead six and twin carbs in uh, oh, 39 ish degrees, and just fine. Not a problem. So enjoy your car. Uh, if you live in a place where they don't salt the roads, don't have to winterize it. Just have a good time. Uh, and enjoy your twin H, because it's Gosh darn easy to start up and drive away with if it's uh, all tuned up right the way that it should be. So thanks for watching.